Hi, I'm back again, and I've got yet another Koangwe solo for you. Um, this one is from Ravel's Piano Concerto in G Major. Um, it was written between 1929 Premier, and uh, 1931, Premier 1931 as well. Um, it was written at the same time as he wrote another piano concerto. Um, the other piano concerto he wrote uh, was for left hand only because it was commissioned for um, a pianist who had lost one of his hands in the First World War. Um, the piano concerto in G major, though, which is one the Korongo solo is from, is written for both hands. Um, the concerto itself is standard three movements, um, but the middle movement, which the Korongo solo is taken from, um, is perhaps a little bit more contrasting than one might expect, and more contrasting than most concertos. Uh, middle movement would be. Um, but in some ways this kind of adds an extra layer to the whole work and just makes it more interesting, more dynamic. And the Korongwe solo, as I've already said, it happens in the second movement and it comes after the climax of the um, p of the solo piano part. And the Korongwe solo it brings back the main theme of the second movement the main melody and the piano um, has a decorating part over the top of it. Um, this Korongo solo isn't necessarily particularly difficult technically speaking, but it is exceedingly slow and so it really tests the player's breath control. Um, it's slow because the piano decoration is quite fast or rather the um, the note values are very small, I think they're demi semi quavers or something like that, and so the Korongwe solo has to follow their lead. So if you listen to um, recordings of it with full orchestra, it is really slow and <laughs> it really tests the breathing and breath control, and so it's very hard to maintain the tone as you play it. But anyway, um, have a listen to my recording of it, um, and I hope you enjoy it.